Now to an exclusive announcement only here on NBC News about three-time Olympic gold medalist Gabby Douglas. As we are learning tonight officially that she is planning to compete at the end of this month, her first competition since 2016, when I know you remember her at the Rio Summer Olympics. We are talking about an Olympics legend here with Gabby going to the games twice and winning gold three times. She's joining us now to talk more about this all. Gabby Douglas, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Of course. So talk about this decision. What led to this? Why now to get back into competition? Well, I honestly, so I'm chilling on a farm right now, and I was watching the 2000 or 2022 championships. And I was like, man, I like miss competing. And um, I was trying to figure out how to get like this kind of like, I'm still a competitor at heart, trying to like mm -hmm. get this out of me. And so I decided to start back training, you know, kind of take time to myself. And then I found myself in the gym and I was like, all right, like maybe we can just do this again. And from that moment on, I just started training and I was like, wow, like I can't believe I'm in this spot again. <laughs> so Gabby, then the big question, does this mean you have your sights set on Paris for the Olympics this summer? Oh, definitely. Most definitely. Um, I'm take, definitely taking one day at a time, um, but I'm honestly like super excited to get back out there. What would that mean to you to be competing in what would be your third Olympics? It would mean a lot, you know, it's definitely a lot of hard work that I've had to put into it, but it would mean a lot. I would just love to go back out there and represent USA, you know, just one more time. And um, just to have that feeling of being a part of something, being a part of team again, would be amazing and a huge honor. When you talk about competition, right, the one later this month will be your first competition. And I know you've been training and we've been showing some of the pictures of that, but it would be your first true competition in eight years. And if you do make the Olympics, You'd be, at the age of 28, the oldest American woman to compete in gymnastics since the 1950s. I wonder, Gabby, how are you thinking about the demands on you now physically and preparation-wise and training-wise for a moment like this? Honestly, I'm just super grateful for my body to be able to hold up to this sport. And I've been doing a lot of recovery, a lot of um, things with what goes into my body. And it's honestly helped me out very much. And... I think, I don't know, I just, I love it. I love pushing myself to the limit. And I think when you love something and when you love your craft and you're willing to work for your craft, then it'll work for you. Will this be the one in February, your only competition before the Olympic trials? Or do you think you'll do more? What's your season looking like? No, I'm definitely going to do more. So it's Winter Cup and then a few more assignments on the side. And then it's Classics, Championships, Trials, and then off to the Olympics. Knock on wood, you got so many people rooting for you. And even the possibility, Gabby, of this moment, this announcement right here, even the possibility of that has been written about with people talking about like the Gabby Douglas comeback. Is that how you see it, Gabby? Is like a comeback for you? Yeah, I, I guess it sort of is. I never really announced a retirement. I just loved, I, I didn't want to end the sport how I did in 2016. I wanted to take a step back and work on myself and work on my mental state and I love gymnastics. I, like I said, I love pushing myself uh, every single day, and I love the sport, so I never wanted to walk away on a bad day, and I want to make sure, and I know I've said it before, but I really want to make sure that I really give it my all and end on a, a good note, and honestly, like, I'm super uh, just so grateful for everyone showing me love and support. It's really, really motivating, and I'm just super grateful. <laughs> I, I mean, it's amazing to hear you talk about this because I've written, I've read some of what you've written before about wanting to find the joy again for gymnastics. Yes. Have you yes. found it? Have you found that joy? I think I have. It's definitely a different um, mindset and a different atmosphere in this generation. And I think it's a good thing. It's, gymnastics has definitely a little bit changed since, you know, the previous years. And I have, I honestly love going in the gym and like I said, like getting my skills back and kind of putting stuff together. It's just very exciting. Your career has made history. You've been an inspiration for so many people, Gabby. I know you know that. What message do you hope that this moment sends now to young women or to really anybody who is watching you, who is hearing you talk about setting your sights on a dream on Paris and going for it? I would say if you truly love what you do, then go for it. Never let someone's limited view limit you and uh, go for go for the moon. Like, we, we only live once, so why not go and try it? Go for the moon, or in your case, go for the gold. Can you even think about, like, you, Simone Biles, the USA Gymnastics team, like, if it happens for the Olympics in Paris? How are you even processing that? I'm honestly taking one day at a time, and it's honestly going to be very, very crazy, 
but I'm going to do kind of the same procedure that I did in 2012, 2016, take one day at a time, one competition at a time, and then go from there. And you'll be, I mean, obviously we're looking at some of these images too of you on the bars. That is your, that's your thing. I mean, you are just, no pun intended, like unparalleled when it comes to that. I, I imagine that's going to be a big, a big focus too, heading into trials. Oh, for sure. Yes. Um, that's the one thing I've been spending uh, time on all four events, but a little bit more time on bars because I love it. And I just, you know what I mean? Like, uh, that's the one event, in, in my opinion, that I really want to, you know, kind of, not kind of, but do well on. I, I have a feeling you're gonna, Gabby. And there's so many people in this country <laughs> and around the world who will be rooting for you. Um, any last words of advice for people watching you? Anything that you're feeling in your heart? You're feeling nervous? You're feeling excited? All the above? I honestly am feeling excited, nervous, grateful, uh, a little bit timid, but you know, that's, I think that's normal. It's been such a long time, but like I said, I'm so excited to get back there, get back out there, be with everyone, get that kind of like competitive, kind of get my feet wet a little bit after eight years out. And then I think I'll just be a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Good to go. I totally get it. Uh, I cannot wait to watch. Hopefully we'll talk again at some point, Gabby, as you are on this journey that is just so incredible. People rooting for you, I know, all over the place. Gabby Douglas making some big news tonight right here on NBC News. Gabby, thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.